Okay, babe. It is day four. Um, heading out of Lyle Canyon. Uh, top of Dunyahu Pass is just a little under three miles. So we're gonna head up there at 7.30. I'm already all packed up for the trail. So yeah, gonna head up. That should be the hardest climb of the day today. And then head down to Thousand Island Lake. I'm still not sure where I'm gonna camp tonight. So uh, we'll see. Let's go. I'm loving these early mornings. It's just, it's good, I'm good. everybody top dunny pass <laughs> made it this one was it is 11 11 oh no wood fires <laughs> It is 11 11. Made it to the top of Dighton Pass. Heading to Ansel Adams Wilderness. Yosemite behind me by Yosemite. Not bad. Not bad. I started my hike today at 7 30 and it was like three and a half miles up to the top of Dighton Pass. So, hardest part of the day is done. It's all downhill. There's nobody up here, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, gonna just hang out here for a little bit, eat some snacks and uh, drink some water. Uh, let Marsha catch up for a little bit. And my end of scene at this island today, which is like a 11 mile day today. Not too bad. Gonna go swimming in Island Pass Lake and have a long lunch there. And yeah, Dunyu Pass. Let's go. Goodbye, Yosemite. Oh, hello, Eastern Sierra. And you know what? It really feels that way. Now you can't hear me. to the top of Island Pass. <laughs> Underestimated this pass for sure. It's just, a, oh, Island Pass is nothing after doing Donahue Pass. No, it's still a pass and it's still hard. So, there's that. Um, it's like a little before three o'clock, I believe, 2.30 gone eight miles about a mile away from 
the island past lake. Went swimming for sure. Got some cloud action happening over there. I checked the weather and uh, looks like next week, early next week, we have some weather coming in. Small percentages, but something to keep an eye out for. But yeah, making way up the pass. Let's go. Just went for a little swim. It's a little chilly, so I didn't stay too long, but uh, felt great. Um, let me see. I don't know if you can see it. Danny, he passes right over there. I know you probably won't be able to see that, but uh, I felt great. Also, I found this towel, so that just means more lake swims. saw that my tent was freaking flying everywhere kind of hunker down kind of sort of um, it's gonna be very windy tonight I ran into Marsha this morning. That was exciting. I didn't think I was going to find her. I didn't think I'll exit trail today. But we'll see. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. So we'll see. Garnet Lake. switchbacks to Rosalie Lake. 241. Just made it to Rosalie Lake. <laughs> I made it up those 33 switchbacks in half an hour. <laughs> I'm feeling badass and a little on fire right now and I'm fucking going swimming in that lake. Nobody's gonna tell me otherwise. Marsha made it. Just camped right up there. It's more beautiful. I'm so glad I stayed. Just got my feet wet just a little bit. Mm. Show that swimming, but it got really windy. Yeah, it's like eight and a half miles to Red's Meadow, so it's gonna be a shorter day tomorrow, and I decided I'm gonna take the shuttle, so that'll be fine. It's gonna be okay. 